What the hell was that? The Chicago Bears get absolutely embarrassed, humiliated, just destroyed. Whatever synonym you want to use for that word. We got destroyed by a score of 38-3 to in Tampa Bay going up against the Bucks. Not even competitive at all at any point in this game. Okay, from the beginning to the ending, we could get nothing going offensively. We cannot stop them on the defensive side of the football. And Matt Nagy... This is the game where you become Mark Tressman 2.0, okay? You guys remember in 2014, Mark Tressman had a game like this where he got humiliated, you know, and it was to Tom Brady as well. I mean, there was two of them, right? Like, it was back-to-back -back losses against Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. That is exactly what is happening this year as well, okay? Obviously, the loss against the Packers wasn't nearly as bad as Mark Tressman's loss was, but we also have a lot more talent on this defense right now. So to lose... To the Bucks by a score of 38 to 3. And guys, that score doesn't even come close to, you know, explaining how one-sided this affair was. Okay, it was 30 to or yeah, 35 to 0 at halftime. They only scored three in the in the second half because they pretty much just stopped trying. Okay, the Bucks, I guess they felt bad for us, but they really weren't pushing as hard as they were in the first half. So the Bucks could have easily put 70 on us and History just seems to repeat itself with this organization, okay? Back in 2014, we got embarrassed to Tom Brady. Matt Nagy is doing the same exact thing. I would not be surprised if he's lost total control of the locker room as well. It was that level of bad, okay? Guys not even caring, it seemed like. Our receivers not even trying to catch the football. Darnell Mooney had two very bad drops. A-Rob wasn't really doing much of anything out there either. No, no separation at all. Cole Komet started this game off with a terrible drop on uh it was third down which ended our drive early which when Cole Komet dropped that guys I knew this was not going to be a good day for the Bears offense but just all across the board man receiving effort was absolute garbage okay flat out unacceptable and you can't be doing that okay if you're if you're a receiver on the Bears okay failing your quarterback like that now obviously our quarterback speaking of Justin Fields Man, he had himself a rough day today, okay? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Obviously, he looked like a rookie quarterback, okay? He did have three interceptions, one near the end of the game, which was pretty bad, okay? That was a very underthrown ball in his own end zone. So that was a bad ball by Fields. There was also, you know, a, a play in the beginning of this game where he was trying to make a play out of nothing. The pocket was collapsing. He escaped and just kind of threw it up there. Um, Maybe just throw that out of bounds, I guess. I mean, I can't fault the kid for trying to make a play when nobody was getting open, but, you know, he can't be doing that probably. And then the second interception, though, was not his fault, in my opinion. Like, that was, you know, obviously not completely on target, but Mooney should have caught that, okay? Like, Mooney, you're that level of receiver where you have to catch the football. He didn't. It bobbled up, and it turned into a pick so I don't blame Fields for that one he did have three fumbles though as well but obviously like when your offensive line is getting destroyed instantly okay when the right tackle is getting pushed backwards into you instantly when the center is getting destroyed like it's really hard as a rookie quarterback to be able to do anything about that okay so obviously he has to improve his ball security because he is fumbling a crazy amount okay you can't be fumbling this often but some of those fumbles man he really stood no chance at all so overall guys on Justin Fields day if you look at his final stats so passed the football 32 times completed 22 of them for 184 yards only obviously zero touchdowns five total turnovers I mean it was a rookie day but I do have to say man I mean the Bears are not putting Justin Fields in any sort of position to succeed what so ever so yeah he did make some mistakes in this game yeah he looked like a rookie throughout it but you can't put a hundred percent of the blame on fields for this offensive performance guys that's how bad the rest of our offense was out there okay receivers dropping balls okay not even getting open offensive line playing absolutely horrible matt Nagy and bill laser being some of the worst coaches play callers in the NFL, I know we were a little bit high on Bill Lazor for a little bit, but guys, what does he do that differently from Matt Nagy, okay? It's not that much different. It's the same system still, and both of them have to be gone by the end of this year. So, I mean, I'm not going to belabor this more than it has to be because 
obviously you guys saw this game okay i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys turned it off even i turned it off a little bit early okay into the third quarter because that's how bad it actually was guys like i've watched pretty much every minute of every bears game for like the past 10 years but for some of these games man i do have to make a small exception because even i as a die hard one of the biggest bears fans that exists i cannot stand watching my team just absolutely get destroyed like this okay obviously only putting up three points no touchdowns you know not having many offensive yards at all we had so many punts in this game we were terrible on third down play calling garbage offensive performance garbage it's the same exact shit okay and it never changes when is it gonna change okay i i I honestly don't know because being a fan of this team like it's it takes away all your hope man like you guys know I'm probably one of the more optimistic fans out there but just watching the Bears fail over and over and over and over again it makes me question like when is it actually gonna turn around when are things gonna change I just simply don't know the answer to that question okay I think Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace both are going to be gone at the end of the season with how bad things are looking right now. But I just hope he would finally hire the right people for the first time in forever. But looking at the McCaskey's track record, like, I don't know if that's going to happen. So, guys, being a diehard fan of this team, investing so much energy and, you know, time into this team, like making content for them too, which which is what I do on my YouTube channel. Like my channel is 99% bear stuff. It really does sting because I love bears football, man. But the bears make it hard to love bears football. So overall, man, I don't know what else I can say about this game. I'm not going to talk too much longer because you guys probably don't want to hear me break down this game in detail because what is there to break down okay one team was way better than the other team and you saw that on the football field okay that's why we got destroyed from the very beginning of this game obviously our defensive effort was not the best but I have to say man when when our offense was turning the football over that many times giving Tom Brady that many short fields obviously you're probably not going to stop him, okay? So even though the Bears' defense wasn't good today at all, the offense still was the bigger reason why we lost this game, okay? Only scoring three points and turning the football over five different times. But that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Definitely leave your comments down below. What do you guys think about this game? I'm sure we're going to see a lot of angry Bears fans in the comments, as we should, because this performance was just flat-out unacceptable. And... Yeah, I do have to say, guys, I still appreciate you guys tuning into my videos every single week for the people watching because I know this bear season is, is starting to get a little bit dicey now. We're having embarrassing losses. It's not looking the best, but I really do appreciate all you guys that still tune in every day. Comment on my videos, interact with me because I truly do appreciate you guys, okay? The Bears community is awesome. Like, you guys are freaking amazing people, but the Chicago Bears, man, I mean, they make me very, very mad some days, okay? So... That's pretty much it, guys. Bears got destroyed. I'm not going to say bear down today because they don't deserve it.